A 20-year-old man and a girl of 15 were charged today with murdering a baby girl. The charges against Lee Clark and the girl, who's not been named, follow the discovery of a child's body in Froome. The pair are jointly charged with murdering an unnamed baby at Froome. Mr Alan Walton, prosecuting, said the body of an unnamed baby was discovered by two ewes in the River Froome on the 5th of July. The baby had gone to its full term and was badly decomposed. In the opinion of a Home Office pathologist, it had been in the water for around three weeks. A full-scale police inquiry was launched and the couple were traced and arrested. An order was made under the Children and Young Persons Act that the girl should not be named. During the short hearing, she frequently dabbed her eyes with a handkerchief. Her long brown hair was tied back in a ponytail and she was wearing a black leather jacket and blue jeans. She and Clark, who were scruffily dressed, didn't speak during the hearing. They merely nodded when asked if they understood the charge against them. Clark was remanded in custody and the girl in the care of the local authority. Mr. Walton said that this is because of the danger they may fail to appear at the next hearing and for the... Man the... have appeared in court in Somerset charged with murdering a baby. The girl was remanded in the care of the local authority. The man was remanded in custody. Paul Cannon reports. The case was heard at Shepton Mallet Magistrates Court. The 15-year-old girl arrived first. She'd been driven from Froome and emerged with her head covered by a coat. 20-year-old Lee Clark from Keyford in Froome was brought separately. Both were accused jointly of murdering a baby whose name wasn't given. The court heard that the baby's body was found in a decomposed state in the River Froome. A post-mortem examination had revealed that the corpse was that of the full-term child. It had been in the river about three weeks. As the details of the case were out, the 15-year-old girl dabbed at her eyes with a white handkerchief. Lee Clark stood expressionless at her side. The chairman of the bench gave her reasons for the remands into custody and into care. She said one factor was for the protection of the accused themselves. The pair were driven away separately. They'll appear in court again at Froome on July the 21st. Paul Cannon, BBC West, Shepton Mallet. They threw the baby into the river Froome just over an hour after he was born. The boy was wrapped in a dog blanket and weighed down with a concrete block. 21-year-old Lee Clark was sent to prison for four years after pleading guilty to manslaughter. Joan Sainsbury, who's 17, was sent to a young offender's institution after admitting infanticide. Plans to build a new prison. Good evening. A young couple who dropped their newborn baby wrapped in a dog blanket and weighted with a brick into the River Froome have been sentenced by a court in Bristol. 21-year-old Lee Clark from Keyford in Froome was given four years imprisonment for manslaughter. His girlfriend, 17-year-old Joan Sainsbury, also from Froome, was sent to a young person's institute for a year, guilty of infanticide. Gerald Haycock was in court. The judge, Mr Justice Phillips, said the case was a tragedy but happily unusual. The couple had met and started having a sexual relationship when Sainsbury, one of eight children, was just a 14-year-old schoolgirl. She became pregnant, though she denied this to her school and wouldn't tell her parents who she was frightened of. They had shown the court was told deplorable naivety in letting Clark sleep in their daughter's bedroom as long as he remained dressed and stayed on top of the bedclothes. On the 1st of April last year, Sainsbury began contractions and walked the 500 yards to Clark's squalid bedsit where she gave birth in the communal lavatory. No one would ever know if the baby, a boy, was born alive, but the couple washed it, smacked its bottom to get it to breathe, and then decided to go to Bath's Royal United Hospital where they wanted to abandon it. But they hadn't got the money for the fare, so they decided to drop it instead in the River Froome near their homes. They walked to the bank where Sainsbury said, throw it in. I don't know why I said it. It seemed the easy way out, she said. The baby wasn't found for three months until its badly decomposed body was discovered by two canoeists. Its condition was such, even its sex couldn't be determined. So I investigated it a bit more, and it found out to be a baby, because when I moved it, the head came up from the back. And uh, I went up and got me dad. And he come down, started poking it around, and he saw the head, and we, then he was convinced. 
The judge, Nicholas Phillips, said in his summing up that Clark's duty was to care for the child's welfare. Instead, he'd shown not just negligence, but a deliberate preference for his own welfare at the expense of the baby's safety and life. He had decided to end its short life. Turning to Sainsbury, the judge described her as a woman in body, a child in mind. But she'd gone along with Clark for his protection, a decision so serious a custodial sentence was justified. Neither defendant showed any emotion as they were led away to begin their sentences.